Hey guys, what's up? Deck here. Welcome back to some more Elden Ring. We are here in Tombs Ward Catacombs, down at the bottom part of the map. So we're going to go ahead and do this one. And I don't know who the boss is. There's also... Where are your skeleton? There's also this little key door. Warrior cookbook. Because that was all that was in here. I hope this isn't the one that has the double stone like cats. I don't know if I can take two of those on at the moment. Carefully ahead. Little light. Try stealth. I'll try stealth. Where you right? Let's see. Stealth in the help. Please don't know that one. There's the message. Good. Human bone shards, and we got a gross messer. What is a gross messer? It is a curved sword. Okay. What is that noise? I see sparks. I don't know. Okay. I don't want to be up here if this is where I'm supposed to go. I'm hoping it's not. Okay, 
okay, it doesn't look like it is. Be wary of pincer attack. So one on each side then? This might be the way. Yeah, it was the way. Okay, we'll have to go back down and see what's that other tunnel. No omen creature. Well, this is like the Grim Reaper, so. notes. Okay, no skeleton in here, I guess. Thank you. Oh, a lot of skeletons in here. Bye. I think we got hit once or something like that. So we still have our full stuff. It's all going to depend on what this boss is, so. Be wary of wrath and short try parrying. I don't parry. Whatever the fuck this thing is. Oh, I guess it shoots poison at us. Oh fuck, nope. Nope, get me the fuck out of here. Get me the fuck out of here. I'm dead. I can't, I can't fucking dodge. And the jellyfish has just absolutely nothing. Because I can't even hit him. We do a lot of damage if we hit them, though. It's not what I wanted to go. I have, we got the bubbles here, didn't we? I'm gonna sprint past this guy. Who's all the headless? 
Okay, so that's pretty good. Hold ahead. Yep. Yes, it is. Give me that root resins. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, I forgot where we were. Let's remove this, uh... So left is the church, the pilgrimage. So we did a minor error, so I guess we go left. We go this way. Because we did the church, right? Yeah. Gonna be another dungeon over here on the left. There's another church up there. I don't see another dungeon at the moment. Okay. I don't see a dungeon over here. Let's go to these ruins. No, there's a state of Marka. That means there's gonna be a boss here or something. Um, beast liver. Oh, there's a ever goal. Hold up. Slow down. Age bar. Oh, that that looks better than the other shit. But that makes us medium. Okay, let's see what's in here. Fire ahead. Okay. Press this item. A winged scythe. Okay, so it looks like it's a dex and faith weapon that causes blood loss. That's cool. I kind of want to do a Grim Reaper build, eventually. <whistles> Shit. Oh, we have to, we have to give this thing a key. Oh. Yeah, we'll activate, oh, I don't have a key. Okay. So I'm gonna go here and I am going to mark this with a boss we haven't beat. I'm actually surprised I didn't have a key. Church of Marika. I wonder if we could talk to uh, Melina again. All right, we got Sacred Tear. Oh. 
see if we can talk to her. No, we can't, but... Alright, we upgraded that once. We don't have enough golden seeds yet. Let's see... Misk. So I'm gonna do the Crimson Crystal, which restores a total half of the HP. And then I think Enhanced Heart Attacks... So new negates. I'm gonna do bubble. This is the wondrous physic I always go with. It's just crimson crystal and then open line bubble here. The exception is if you get the red little bubble looking thing, the red tier, you can do. Uh, I guess it protects you from Moog the Blood Lord, but I've never used that before, so I'm not sure. Can't level up yet. I'm close. Can I drive nine hundred dollars in runes? It's for. Oh yeah. And what was that? I was leveling up last. Oh, let's get to start here. Twenty. Okay. Cool. All right, there's more runes right here. Oh, there it is, the tower. Finally, I can return to our home, bathed in rays of gold. See, looking at that tower over there. Okay, well. We'll do the, that in a second. Maybe you just need to break the barnacles off. And don't get stepped on. It's like an insta-kill. that one right now. Okay, so right now we can't actually use this. But this is where you duplicate the remembrances that bosses drop, so you don't have to choose between one or the other. What's the remembrance of creation menu? You can duplicate remembrance that previously occurred. This includes remembrance which you've already drawn out power. Duplication can only be performed once per mausoleum per game. So it doesn't give you all of the options, it gives you some of the options. Unless if you do the mausoleums in the DLC, Shadow of the Air Tree, you get all of the options. Um, there are three in the Shadow of the Air Tree and there's like four in the base game, something like that. But, we can mark this because we haven't actually unlocked the thing yet. Uh, so we'll put a dime in there for mausoleum. Alright, and that's the church we were at, so the ruins are right over here. 
Okay, we'll check these out now. Oh, these guys fucking suck. Okay, I want to skip all of this. Get down here. way to get these guys. It's best to kill these guys before going down. God, I killed you. Stop dropping shit on me. Fucking idiot. Okay, now we can pick up this stuff. Uh, Kaku, Clintstone. Another one. The reason you want to kill them before coming down here is they will chase you down here. And you don't want to accidentally hit that person chained to the wall. Emma Shard. So this is Selwyn. We'll go ahead and talk to her real quick. It will do no good, I swear it. And yet you persist, you frothing degenerates. Yep. God damn it, I don't want to see the blood stain. Print screen that. Cool. We went ahead and print screen that. Good to go. I don't know. It's it shows that the recording is paused when I do the print screen because it wants me to drag and drop. I don't know if it actually pauses it for a split second or not. But that is sorcerer selling, and yes. This is also Sorcerer's Cell, and they are the same person. Uh, this is her physical body. The other area that you're buying spells off of her is her actual, I guess, embodiment, uh, or her spell that she's casting her. If you were to hit her there, you would lose access to her other options. And then you'd have to go over to the Church of Vows to actually get that fixed. And that could be a little bit of annoying. And it could mess up your uh, the quest for her. And if you want all of the, like, the powerful spells and stuff, you're going to want to refrain from attacking her. Because that's where some of the best actual like armor and spells are for the mage. Alright, so let's see what is down this way. We'll go to that shack here in a second. Let's make sure there's no like actual like items down here. I see one. I think I see another one over there too. Golden rune. Golden rune. Awesome. Uh, 
I can't check my map real quick. I think it's to let you check your map in the middle of combat, but I think everything should have like the red line through it so you can't pass through. Okay, there's no cave over here. There is an item though. I heard a scarab too. Oh, it's just one of them type of scares. I'm not climbing there for that. There's gonna be one of those white scarabs. All right, let's get over to this shack then. Merchant. Heck yeah, we'll use the front door. Well, there's been an age since I've seen how can I help. I like to buy some stuff, man. What is this? Wandering mausoleum? Oh, that. Oh, he has the stone sword keys. Have a safe trip. Do I have enough for 2,000? Yes. All I need is one. Anything else? Yes, I would like to buy this stone sword key. Thank you very much. He has a lantern too. I don't know if I have enough to get 1,800. That's 12. That's 16. 17. We are so close. We have enough to buy that lantern now. This is use all of them. Yeah, okay. So let's go back to the round table hold then. We need to buy everything these guys have. There's like a collection. Alright. I'm gonna give you a bunch of bell bearings. So now... We got Kells and Isolated. There's the lantern. I want to use two. We also got Nomadic 2, 3, and 4. And then we have Patches, of course. Which he has a gold feet. And he's also got Market Shackle. That's 5,000 runes, though. That's kind of expensive. Uh, we haven't ran into Market yet, but you could buy this. And his Stone Sword feet is really expensive, too. But you could buy this market shackle and then he will uh you basically lock him to the ground for like 30 seconds or something like that and you could just keep hitting on him i've never used it before but i think market has one and i think mog has one cool 
So now we're gonna add the lantern to our start menu. And the cool thing about the lantern is that it's like a torch. It's just on your uh, belt. Awesome, and now we can go back to this shack, and we still have this stuff right here to look at. And then we got Weeping Evergold. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that subscribe button down below. Help me out a lot, and I will see you all next time. Don't forget to game like a god. Peace.